Hey guys, 4 tails 95 here, and it's a new place. I'm living on my own now, so yeah. <laughs> um, stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to know an update on my schedule. Um, we're going to start uploading did yeah, videos daily. <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Um, but this episode, this video is not all about that. This video is about what's coming up Tuesday. June 13th. I can't think. <laughs> um, here's what I'm hoping for on Nintendo Z3. Um, first of all, yes, no, two days ago, we got um, a Pokemon Direct, which was not expected by anybody. Um, but yeah, we got news about Pokemon Tournament for the Switch. Yeah. Um, I I like this game. It's fun, but it's not regular Pokemon. It's a little bit <laughs> different, but it's it's fun. I mean, it's a fighting game. Oh yeah, and sorry about the lighting. I'm still trying to get things set up, and yeah, you can see the light right off my glasses. <laughs> but yeah, I'll I'll try to fix the lighting. I'm gonna try to get a ring light or something like that. Um, I'm just using the desktop light right now. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Tournament, it's, it's not a bad game. Got the Amiibo card too, Shadow Mewtwo. We're supposed to get a bunch of new characters. Um, hopefully some DLC will be announced um, Tuesday. Also, we got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Pokemon Sun and Moon. I mean, they're good games, don't get me wrong. Um, I love Pokemon and everything. This just seems like a kind of black and white 2 kind of thing. Because they're literally fusing Solgaleo with Necrozma and Lunala with Necrozma. <laughs> I mean, they look cool. I I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with it. But it's an all-new story and all that, so we'll see how it goes. Um, Pokémon Tournament for the Switch comes out um, September 22nd and... Um, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon come out November 11th, I think. I'll have the date on the screen. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, I, I hope they have controllers with the Pokemon Tournament because I like this controller and it's just for Pokemon Tournament. But oh well. Next, here's what I really want them to announce. Now the big thing everybody's been talking about lately is the leak. IGN leak about Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I think it's going to be a really good game if it's true. It looks really legit. Um, I can't wait for them to announce it officially. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a good game. I, I like Raymond Raven Rabbids as a kid. Um, I recently played it just to try it out when after the leak hit. It's a lot harder than I remember. <laughs> um, but yeah. I hope we get an exact release date. The leak said like somewhere around in a couple months we'd get that game. So that's pretty cool. Um, no, next, still on Pokemon, um, I really would like a Diamond and Pearl remake sort of thing. I know a lot of people want that. I really want that. Sinnoh is one of my favorite regions to go through. Um, I would love to see it in a 3D kind of experience. Um, next, the big thing about Nintendo Spotlight presentation or something like that is Super Mario Odyssey. I am ecstatic for this game. I cannot wait. Um, Sunshine and Mario 64 were awesome games. No matter the bad advertising on Super Mario Sunshine, um, it's still an awesome game. I love Hub World games, Free Roam, anytime like that. I love them. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get a release date. There's a lot of people saying we won't get a release date. We'll just say, people are just saying that we're going to get like, oh, still holiday season. I'm thinking we're going to get a release date. I really hope. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be awesome. If you guys haven't seen the trailer for that game, go look it up on Nintendo's, um, YouTube channel. It's amazing. Um, so next on the list... New Super Mario Bros. series. I want to see that game series with a new game. Um, 
New Super Mario Bros. U wasn't the best game. I didn't like the um, squirrel suit that much. It was an interesting concept. It was a good game. But I wanted a different power-up, more like the New Super Mario Bros. Wii with the propeller hat and the penguin suits, all those kind of items. Those were awesome. Um, yeah, I hope they get a new one on that. I'm, I'm hoping we don't get much more deluxe versions. People are talking about getting a deluxe Smash Bros. I hope not because, I mean, I'd like more characters. I'd like a better story like was in Brawl, but I don't want the same game just ported over because I already got the games. I mean, I'm going to buy them either way because there's new stuff to it that I won't add to the other one. But I want the game brand new, new everything, not just ported over from the last console with new stuff. See, that's my little rant there. <laughs> um, I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way because we're shilling out 20 not 20 60 dollars for brand new games that are just remakes of the same game. I know I'm, I just realized Pokeball's the same way, but yeah. I just contradicted myself big time there. <laughs> okay. Never mind then. <laughs> um, so next on the list is Kirby. Kirby is one of my favorite Nintendo series, and I can't wait for this year because it's Kirby's 25th anniversary, I think, that they're doing. Um, they got the 3DS game, the free one on there, the fighter one. I've been playing that. That's a pretty fun game. Um, they also got another 3DS game coming here before too long. I forget when they said it was coming out. But then they said there's one for the Switch, I think, which I'm really excited if they do. Um, yeah, I hope we get more information about that because they just said to be continued on that information. It's supposed to be a big game, I'm thinking. So, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we get a release date and a trailer for that game. Next, something so many peop Nintendo fans are going on about is the Virtual Console. I am hoping... We get a virtual console release date. I know they pushed back the um, online services for being paid till next year instead of the fall, which I'm happy about that. I mean, 20 bucks for a whole year isn't bad at all, especially compared to like $60 or whatever PlayStation does. I don't, I don't know PlayStation. I used to have Xbox 360, Gold Live, something like that a while back. So that was like 60 or $80, I forget, but... $20 for a whole year, one-time payment for a year, that's awesome. Um, good on Nintendo, still trying to give basically free play on the, on their online services, but they still need to make some money to make the servers better, which I, I, I believe that's good on them. Um, but one big thing about the Virtual Console, we need some GameCube. GameCube is one of Nintendo's best gaming consoles. I still play GameCube games till this day. Um, one big game that I love is Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, which I'm hoping to do on this channel sometime in the future. Um, but yeah, they need to get Virtual Console GameCube. Um, there's emulators out there that work perfectly fine, so I'm thinking they can do it. Um, they got a good controller set up with the Pro Controller, the Joy-Con grip. It's the perfect opportunity. We've, they've already skipped over on the Virtual Console for the Wii U with going from N64 to Wii. I don't want to miss out on my Virtual GameCube games because there's a lot of GameCube games that you can't really find anymore. And a lot of people can't play them because they're real good games. Like Thousand Year Door, it took me forever to find to get a really good copy of it just <laughs> to play. Um... But I got a real good deal on it, and I'm happy about it. But I want Virtual Console HD remakes of these games. Um, I know a lot of other people do that grew up with the GameCube. Um, yeah, that, that would be so awesome. Because we got every single Nintendo console on <laughs> the Virtual Console besides GameCube. I don't care if they slowly add games like they were with the N64. 
I want my GameCube portable. <laughs> um, next topic. I want some more Paper Mario. Now, now, now hold your horses before you go crazy. <laughs> I loved Color Splash. They got the formula better than they were with Sticker Star. It's getting better. They're kind of going with what the fans say. I wish it was like Thousand Year Doors set up too. Um, but they're getting better. The coloring fighting mechanic worked real good for what they were doing. So good on them. I'm still wanting more Paper Mario. No matter how many people say it's dead, I, I just want it back. <laughs> well, not back. More of it. And not on the 3DS because I don't think it needs to be on the 3DS, my opinion. Okay. Another thing I really like and want. We recently got, or are getting, the ARMS Joy-Cons, the yellow ones. And we know about the Splatoon 2 ones with the the neon pink and neon green. They look amazing. I can't wait to get them someday. <laughs> and the Pro Controller is going to have different colors now. That is awesome news. I want more. <laughs> I know they're like 60 bucks, but I want more. That's, I want a whole array of colors. I want the whole rainbow. Oh, but I can dream, can't I? <laughs> There's awesome fan creations of different colors, different textures, different patterns, you name it. People are making some amazing fan art of Joy-Con different colors. I love my neon red and neon blue ones, but I want different ones. I love that you can play two players with just two Joy-Cons. That's amazing. Share the joy. That's their motto for Joy-Cons. I love it. It works. Um, next and last but not least, Pikmin 4. I want another Pikmin game. <laughs> the one on the Wii U was awesome. I actually got it for free when I got Mario Kart 8 and what was the other one? New Super Mario Bros. No, New Super Mario Bros. You came with my Wii U. What was it? Oh, now I'm drawing a blank, guys. No, it wasn't Nintendo Land. I'm trying to look over at my games and see what I got. Oh. Uh... I don't know why I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, they had a deal going on. If you bought two of these games, you got a virtual download game of any of the choices that you wanted out of like four different games. Um, but yeah, it, it's an awesome game. I love the Pikmin series. I hope they get more. Hey, Pikmin's going to be the one I pick up on the 3DS. How good it is, I don't know. The trailer looks pretty good. I mean, it's in 2D side-scrolling mode, so we'll see how it goes. I'm sure that'll be talked about, the Hey Pikmin. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we get some DLC news on ARMS, even though it's not even out till next weekend. <laughs> but yeah, I know I say a lot. <laughs> I hope we get some new Splatoon news. Um, yeah. Oh, that's the game. I have it on my desktop. Kirby's Blowout Blast is the other Kirby game for the 3DS that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> I probably put it on the screen. Um, so, yeah. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this. Hit that bell notification to know when I go live, when I upload, everything like that. Yeah. Um, comment down below what you're hoping for Nintendo's E3 or Sony's or Microsoft. Um, and now to the new schedule. Um, so on Mondays, I'm hoping to get Super Meat Boy finished up. So until then, we on Mondays we'll be doing Super Meat Boy. And then after that, we will be starting up Lego Dimensions. If you can see behind me, <laughs> there's a bunch of my Lego Dimensions builds that you get to build in there which I will be building on camera I'm planning on it um, doing reviews on the little figures and all that 
another minifigs. But, um, yeah, I haven't started that yet, mostly because of I'm missing some pieces from when I moved. They're very little pieces, and I tried my hardest to keep them all <laughs> in their places. But I am missing, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing 11 pieces out of all the builds I got. All those ones back there are all put together. Besides the portal right there has a couple of the great pieces missing. That's what I need to order. Um, luckily, when you order little amounts of Lego pieces, they're really cheap. So they'll get here someday soon. So by the time we get Super Meat Boy done, um, we'll have that already to us. Don't have to worry about it. Um, on Tuesdays, I will be doing live streams. Um, I'm going to be trying to finish up... S ah, I can't speak. <laughs> um, what is it called? Sonic Adventure DX. Um, We're going to be starting with Tales Story. I might live stream tomorrow, so... Or Saturday. It's probably going to be Saturday, because my mom's coming over to help me with stuff. Um, but yeah... Then, we got Wednesday, we're going to be doing Wizard 101, getting more of those done. I'm going to be re releasing some of those a little bit early, because I got three, two episodes pre-recorded from February. I know it's a while back. I know I've been super lazy, guys. I'm really sorry. But now I'm on my own. I can record whenever I want, live stream whenever I want. No interruptions, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to get those out to you. And Thursday is a big one. It's going to be a big project because um, the cutscenes go really fast and there's no talking. Um, so I'm going to be recording over the cutscene afterwards with my voice to try to read it because they go really fast. <laughs> um, but the game we're doing is Epic Mickey on the Wii. I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite games on the Wii. <laughs> I know you guys are probably like... Oh, well, that's a stupid game. I, I love Mickey and Disney and all that. It's a good game. I'm going to try to show you guys how good it is. Um, I just lost what I was saying. I want to show you guys how good it is and what the greatness is of this um, game and the second game we're going to be doing after that. So that one's going to be better because I won't have to talk as much because <laughs> the cutscenes are all voice acted. Um, but, yeah, that's for Thursday. Friday we're going to be doing snipper clips. I've got like five episodes of that recorded. Um, but there, it's a big game. I didn't realize how big of a game it was. So if I don't have any more of those recorded and our adventure is not able to play with me and record for a little while, we'll do some maybe a live stream, um, maybe a filler video, like um, maybe reviewing some of my Lego sets or playing another game. I don't know. We'll see what happens. After five episodes are up. Then Saturday we'll be doing some live stream. Maybe Toy Story Racer or even Sonic. I don't know what I'll do. But I do want to get those going. Live stream at least two times a week. Um, but Sunday we are doing Spyro the Dragon for PlayStation 1. I want to try to get all three of those games from that console done. And maybe by the time those get done. Oh, if I can get... Uh, screen recorder for ooh I'm kicking my desk accidentally sorry guys um, maybe if I can get a capture card for AV cords you know the red yellow and blue cords for my GameCube maybe we can get that going because I got the um, I think, yeah Hero's Tale on GameCube so maybe we can do that and maybe we can start Paper Mario I don't know We'll see what goes on. That, that's going to be a while down the road, so fair warning. <laughs> so yeah, that's the schedule. Monday, Super Meat Boy. Tuesday, a random live stream. Wednesday, Wizard 101. Thursday, Epic Mickey. Friday, Snipper Clips or any random video that after those get done. Saturday, live stream. Sunday, Spyro. So be ready, guys. I'm coming full force to get you videos and keep my mind busy because I've just been sitting here like I don't know what to do 
I want to do this, but I don't at the same time because I'm lazy. <laughs> so yeah, I'll say it again right now if you stick around this long. Hit that like button down below. Also, hit that subscribe button. It'll make it so much easier to find my videos. Also, with the bell notifications, hit that. Get to know when I'm live. Get to know when I put up a video. And comment down below, E3, what you want, what you think is going to happen, and how you think the new schedule is going to go. If I'm going to be able to do it, I should be able to, guys, because I'm here all by myself. I've got some downstairs neighbors, but that's all that's here. Me and some downstairs neighbors, and they don't bother me, and I don't bother them. <laughs> as long as we're all right, we're good. So, yeah. Get this going. By next week, I'll give you some random videos that I've already recorded, <laughs> and we'll go from there. See you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, 4 tails 95 here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. And also, hit that subscribe button. It'll make it so much easier to find my videos once they're up. Don't forget to check out my Twitter and Instagram. I'll put links for those in the description below.